Hey up YouTube, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part 13 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. After the little Wutai side quest and with all our materia back, it's time to carry on with the meat and potatoes of the story. Just before we get too carried away though, there's a couple of things we need to do. First of all, we need to take a quick detour to Cosmo Canyon and seeing as we're f minted now, seems only right that we splash the cash and buy a few HP plus materias. After this, it's back over to the grasslands to kick the shit out of that big snake from earlier in the series. The Zolom has a rather handy enemy skill called Beta, so we take this opportunity to learn it a couple of times before trining his arse all the way back to Midgar. Now, I don't know about you guys, but we're not actually given a concrete clue as to where to actually go in the game at this point, so let me know in the comments below if you've got stuck at this point, just like 10-year-old me did. Anyway, because I've played this game a billion times at this point, we know that we need to make a visit to the weapon seller near the Gold Saucer, he mentions something about a keystone which unlocks an ancient temple somewhere, and then proceeds to laugh it off like it's some kind of silly superstition. We then make our way up to the gold saucer, spend another 3,000 gil getting in, Robin b****, and then make our way over to the battle square where we can see the keystone being displayed. As it turns out, Big Naked Dio actually owns it, but he decides he's going to be nice and give it to us, as long as we can entertain him in the battle square. But because you get the keystone regardless of how many battles you fight, we get our asses handed to us within the first few turns, and off we pop. Keystone in hand, it's time to travel to the Temple of the Ancients. Oh, so we're stuck here for a bit, are we? How convenient. Kate Sith hops along to tell us that as he knows everybody here, we can spend the night at this rather creepy looking hotel until the cable car is fixed. With all of the gang together for the very first time, Cloud takes this opportunity to bring everybody up to speed. And after some chat about the Promised Land and what Sephiroth's motives are, we pop upstairs to get some shut eye. Just as Cloud's about to turn in though, there's a knock at his door. He's hoping that it might be Tifa or Aerisith asking for a booty call, but it turns out it's actually Barrett who fancies a bit of a midnight rendezvous. This isn't really the canonical dating scene, they usually do occur with Aerisith or Tifa, but I just find this section really f funny. So we take a gondola ride with Barrett to watch the fireworks before calling it a night. On their way back though, they discover that Yuffie isn't the only thieving b****** in the party. Now, Kate Sith has snatched the keystone. After a wild goose chase, we finally catch up to him, but it's too late and he's handed the keystone over to Shinra. Turns out the little robotic cat is a spy and has been working for Shinra all along. And after a bit of blackmail which involves Marlene, the gang have no choice but to cooperate. Morning arrives and it's time to set off to the Temple of the Ancients. Aerisith insists on going, so we take Barrett along too and head off. When we finally arrive at the temple, we bump into a very poorly Seng. He says that old Sephiroth has turned up and is currently inside the temple. Song gives us the keystone and we descend through the floor to get inside. We're then greeted with a screen which wouldn't look out of place in a Jamiroquai video from the 1990s and after a bit more chatting, we move on. After some time, we arrive at a room resembling a clock and there's a few forced battles here so it'd be rude not to take the opportunity to get a little bit more experience. The first through door number one, a couple of frogs and a lady. Not too difficult. One try and sort some out. The second through door number three, however, not so easy. I'd even go as far as to say that these enemies are probably one of the most awkward enemies in the entire game, especially in a run like this. These are called Eight Eyes, and while they don't appear particularly menacing, they have a one-shot attack that drains around 1300 HP, and given that none of our characters have even that much health at this point, we get just our second game over of the run. Take two, and I knew I needed to be quicker on the draw, so I summoned Odin for Steel Bladed Sword to wipe them out. Unfortunately, one of the attacks missed, so that's game over number three. The RNG wasn't being too kind to me, and the exact same thing happened on attempt number three, before finally, on attempt number four, Steel Bladed Sword hits all of the targets, and we escape with just Aerisith alive. I genuinely didn't realise how much of a pain these buggers were. Let me know in the comments below if you've had trouble with these before. The last one, you need to get pushed off the clock completely, and here you take on some dragon type enemies. This isn't as difficult as the last one, but as it's an attack from both sides job, it's important to get rid of one of them pretty sharpish. We're rewarded with a nail bat for this, and we can finally move on to the first boss of the episode, the Red Dragon. Well, here we are then boys and girls, here we are. We're in the Temple of the Ancients. We're going to take on the two bosses that are in the Temple of the Ancients in this episode. First of all, the Red Dragon, and finally, the dreaded Demon Wall. Now, just before we carry on, I just want to take a brief moment just to say thank you ever so much for the support on the series. The last couple of videos have been absolutely amazingly received, so thank you very, very much to everybody that's liked, commented, and subscribed to the channel. This has been an amazing few weeks for the channel. I did put a community post out, and I said that, you know, 
Since I started the channel back in January, one of the latest videos actually doubled my total views in the space of a week. So honestly, the support has been amazing. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome along. Please consider liking the video and subscribing for more content. So with that being said, here we are. Let's have a look at how we're going to take on the Red Dragon first of all. So uh, let's go and look at the equipment first of all. So we've picked up a couple of pretty decent weapons here. Um, well, I say a couple. We've picked up three pretty good weapons here. Let's go to Cloud. Now, this is the Nail Bat. Now, it doesn't have any materia slots, but as you can see, 70 attack power. And compared to what we were using beforehand with the Yoshiyuki, it's quite a significant boost in, in attack power. And in these next couple of boss fights, realistically, Cloud's just going to be wailing on them anyway. So... We've, we, we've, we've sacrificed those materia slots and we've given Cloud the nail bat. Uh, if we look at Barret, um, we've also found another weapon for Barret. Uh, one that doesn't have any materia slots at all. Uh, that's the rocket punch. We were obviously using the enemy launcher. That is a long range weapon. The rocket punch isn't a long range weapon. That is a, um, that's a melee weapon. However, if you look at the damage that the Rocket Punch is doing compared to the enemy launcher, I think we're probably going to be doing the same, the same amount of damage, if not maybe slightly more, with Barrett in the back row with that melee weapon anyway. So we've done that. We've also picked up the Princess Guard for Aerisith, uh, which is her ultimate weapon. You might be wondering why a character a third of the way through the game is getting their ultimate weapon, but... Um, I'll let you figure that one out. So in terms of equipment, um, we've given Barrett the fire ring because this red dragon attacks with fire. So that will just completely nullify all the fire attacks. Okay, so now we'll just move on to materia um, because another way to um, nullif not nullify but to take those fire attacks down from the red dragon is by having fire and elemental equipped in armor. So that is what I've done for both Cloud and Aerisith. Um, so if we look at the other materia, we've given Cloud long range and HP plus. As we saw in the recap video, we went to Cosmo Canyon and we spent a little bit of gill on uh, three AP, um, AP plus, uh, HP plus materias just because we had the gill after doing the Wu Tai side quest. So I thought, why the fuck not, eh? So yeah, that's what Cloud's got. We move on to Aerisith. We have completely materia that. Uh, she has got Destruct, Ice, All and Barrier, Gravity and All. Luck plus, Odin, HP plus, Elemental and Fire, Barret. Again, not many materia slots with we, we, we Barret, what with us uh, using that weapon, but we've given him uh, rest Mr. Restore and All, uh, Mr. Tank Restore and All, Poison, so we can try and poison the Red Dragon, and we've also given him um, an HP plus as well. Right then, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Um, having said that, this is probably the easier of the two. Shouldn't really come into many hiccups with this but let's see how we get on right then right then here we go let's kick this dragon's ass right uh Cla oh, cloud's got his limit straight away cross slash that is lovely barrett um ooh, what should we do with you mate um bio yes uh, aerisith i want you to odin this back straight away Come on, Barrett. Uh, right, Cloud. Uh, no, that's pointless. You can attack. Barrett, try again, please. Okay, after Odin's finished. As you saw in the recap video with this as well, when you're facing a group of enemies rather than just one large one, it's a triple-bladed sword. Whereas in one one enemy, he just does this Gunga Lance or Gunge Lance or whatever you want to call it. Oh, that is lovely. Right then, let's try again. Aerisith, what can you do now? Uh, don't think Demi's going to work. Barrier might be a good shout, actually. Uh, Cloud, no, attack. Jesus f***ing Christ. Um, right, Barret, can you just heal once? I can't remember how you do it. Can't, uh, does anyone remember how you just heal once? I can't remember. 
You can actually just heal once, can't you? And I can't remember how you do it. Um. Now, oh, it. Might have to try and uh, figure that one out. Right, uh, Aerisith, uh, you can. Oh, ice. Let's do ice too, shall we? Cloud, attack, Barret, bio. Not doing too bad here. You just keep icing, Aerisith. And Barret, if you could actually poison it, that would be lovely. Poison again, please. Really, really... Why can't I remember how to bloody... Why can't I remember how to just cast the spell once? Hey, he's poisoned. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> I did say this was going to be the easier of the two, didn't I? <laughs> Although I wasn't quite expecting it to be that easy. Uh, and that's the Red Dragon. Done. Right then, you come back in just a couple of nanoseconds and we're going to take on the dreaded Demon Wall. Right then, rather than do a recap of what's just happened, I thought I'd just try and explain it a little bit here. So... Uh, just before you go into the Red Dragon fight, um, you find out that Sephiroth actually just wants to become a big, gigantic f***ing god. And his plan is to use the Black Materia to summon Meteor to do that using the power of the live stream. What you find out is the temple itself is actually the Black Materia. And Sephiroth has sent all his little goonies and clonies in to try and take the Black Materia out for himself. The problem with this is... You have to be inside the temple to take the material out. So, Kate Sith has had the brilliant idea, being the little robot that he is, to um, solve all the puzzles inside the temple himself. And so that way, Kate Sith will just go away. And then, unfortunately, a new Kate Sith does come along. But that's the plan, is Kate Sith is going to sacrifice himself to take the material out so Cloud can actually get hold of the black material to stop Sephiroth from having it. So... That's what. That's kind of just what's happened at this point. And here we are. We're just about to take on the Demon Wall. Now, I haven't changed anything here, um, really. Um, I'll just show you what I have done, though. So, we've given Cloud the Dragon Armlet, which we get from the Red Dragon. Demon Wall doesn't have any elemental attacks, but this is a really, really nice piece of armor moving forwards because it drains um, Fire, Cold, and Lightning attacks by half damage. So, um... It's always a nice little. Um, it's always a nice little thing to have, um, but in terms of materia, that's also given us a couple of extra materia slots. So what I've done is I've given him counter attack uh, and enemy skill. I said we're not going to be using a lot of. Ma we're not going to be using any magic with cloud really. Um, so I can, I've given him the enemy skill materia because we've got a couple of really really nice enemy skills now in beta and trine, which can do an awful lot of damage. Problem with this boss is his magic resistance is off the f***ing charts. So, realistically, the only magic damage that's feasible is Odin, which is what Aerisith had in the last boss fight. And we've also given her the Leviathan material, which you pick up after you, de after you defeat the Red Dragon. Everything else is exactly the same. I've not touched anything else. So... Let's get ready for this one. Um, this is probably the hardest boss up to this point in the game so far. In a, even in a normal run like this, this even in a normal run, beg your pardon, this is probably the, the hardest boss you'll encounter up to this point. So Christ knows how we're going to get on in a run like this when they're not as leveled as maybe they should be at this point. But yeah, let's give it a go. Here we f***ing go, right. First things first, Aerisith, I want you to barrier, please. Oh, my God. Uh, Barret, attack. Cloud, attack. 
122. All right, that's not doing as, as bad as I thought it would. Ooh. Aerosith, uh, summon, please. Let's do Odin. Okay, all right. Not a terrible start. Barret attack, cloud attack. Right. I should also say, I thanks to the lovely friends over at Game FAQs, I think I've figured out how to do how to cast single target all spells now. So hopefully that means that if one of them needs healing and the others don't, I can do that. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it's the the magic, uh, the magic damage is just not very good at all. Three hundred odd for Odin. Oh dear, what's that? Oh. Okay, not as bad. Right, Aerosith. Uh, yeah, you do Healing Wind, just because you can. Uh, you're going to have to just attack Barret. Uh, Cloud, you might as well just attack too, mate. I'm actually half wondering if I don't bother now with, bah with Bahamut, because she's already quite low on MP. So... I'm, it might actually just have to be an attack fest at this point. And just keep attacking and make sure that the health's topped up. I should also mention as well, the reason I'm not trying to poison him is because you actually can't poison him. Uh, well, you can poison him. It's just the poison has absolutely zero effect. So it's pretty pointless. What are you doing? Attack. Okay, how we do... Right, I'm going to need Aerosith to do Barrier now. Oh, you. Barret. Cure. Single target yourself. That's how you do it. There we go. Cloud attack. Lovely stuff. Barret. Big shot. And that's a miss. Thank you. I still find it hilarious that this is a melee weapon and he can still actually shoot with it. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, right, yeah, attack. 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 Keep going. Aeris with attack. Barret attack. Demon rush. Oh, f Okay, not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but Barrett, you are now just going to have to heat. What are you doing now? Don't be that guy. What are you doing now? Oh, no, he's, he's not. Uh, right, attack. Oh, God, Barrett, come on. Get this cure in, please, mate. Oh, shit. Cure, please. Thank you. How have I not got cure 2 yet? I'm finding that staggering. There's the attack. Oh, would you behave yourself, mate? Attack. Oh, maybe I should have done a cure. I think I might have to. Oh, I, mm, oh yeah, I'm going to have to now. I'm going to have to now. Barret. Cure, please. Do a little bit more damage to Cloud if you can, because then, oh, never mind. So then it doesn't feel so wasted. <laughs> okay, so now I can't cure all targets anymore. I also can't barrier all targets anymore. So... Okay, not too right. Cloud's got a limit. Oh, oh, no, that was all right. No, that was a good shout. Cross slash, please. Cloud. I hate the fact that you can't see the... Oh! Wow. I genuinely wasn't expecting that to be quite as comfortable as it was. Fucking hell. Wow.
I'm actually a little bit speechless, to be honest. <laughs> If you have enjoyed the video guys, please do give the video a nice big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future content. If you want to see what's happened in the series so far, you can check out this video right here. And if you want to see what's happening in my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playthrough, you can check out this video right here. My name is Matt, better known as the Yorkshire Gamer, and thank you very much for watching.